Hi everyone, welcome to another release of Cloth Weaver. This time we are on version 3.2. In this update, there are five new features that I'm going to be covering. The first one is a panel to add collisions to your characters. Number two is a selection to scale your clothing to the manual Bastion Lab preset. Number three is a new clothing preset, Pants. Four is the ability to add custom user presets. And number five deals with creating the clothing, being able to duplicate the backside. So let us begin. Here we have our Manuel Bastion Lab character from the generator over here. And let's go ahead and add a collision to him. So he is selected at the moment. And here we have, under cloth physics for sewing, these settings are applied when you're doing the sew sewing for the clothes. So let's check Use Manual Bastion Lab. And now I hit Add Collision to Character. I'll add that down here. Now, one thing that you'll want to take note of under the modifier tab on the character, what you're going to do, you're going to want to move the collision up. Probably. Okay, before the subdivision. Depending on the density of the mesh, if it has a lot of geometry, it, the simulation is going to run very slow. Whereas if you have less geometry, it has less to calculate, so it's going to run faster. So if I go to the wireframe mode, you can see how dense that mesh is. A lot of detail, which is good, but simulation is going to be very slow. So if we turn that down, we're getting more quads. We can use that to speed up the simulation, depending on your hardware. Now, under the presets, we have a new one, pants. Here it is. Let's select that. Now normally, if we uncheck this tick mark up here, and then hit Create Pants, they're going to be blown out of proportion because that's just the default size. <clears throat> However, watch this. Tick mark that box, now hit Create Pants. And this scaling is only going to work for default presets here at the moment. Okay, so now they're the right size. Move them up. Going to kind of fit it to the character. That looks about right. He has his collision applied. I'm going to click the pants. And scroll up and hit put on clothing. Now hit the restart simulation deposit. Pants are kind of falling down and the geometry of the character is very... Depends on how you're generating the character as well or what your character body type is. Okay. Now we're going to sew the clothing to make it smooth and everything. Oh, that looks nice. Again, it's just following the body at the moment. But I'm going to pull up his pants because they're kind of sliding down. Go ahead and hit restart simulation. Okay. Then you can always just keep tweaking it from there. Next on the agenda is user presets. We have a new panel here. Right now it is blank by default. There's nothing selected. So let's go browsing. Let's go over to have a folder called Mail Clothing Presets. And in this folder, you can see we have our blend file and our pants 
.png. So inside the user presets .blend, we have a uh, we have a cylinder that has the name pants. The name of the image icon needs to be the same as the image inside the Blender file that it's pulling from. Here we have that root directory selected mail clothing presets. Hit accept. Now hit refresh. Now you can see our icon is showing. So now create pants, but of course it's just a cylinder for demo purposes, right? So you can create any kind of image you want. Ideally, it would be a 256 by 256 PNG file. Again, important, the name of the image needs to have the same name of the object that is importing within the Blender file. Also important, the name of the file that it is looking for right here. Choose root directory for housing a user presets dot blend file with icons. So the Blender file needs to be named user presets exactly how it's named in that description right there when you hover over if you can hover over any of these buttons and objects and it will give you a little description of what it does and how to use it before we move on to feature five let's cover the mini market right here this will have a name change currently at the moment i am looking at calling it the wardrobe right that's very fitting and it will be another panel where you can actually browse online files and it will be a little gallery like this of user created content. I've already covered this in another tutorial but just a little bit about it here. You can upload a .zip file containing all those preset images and the Blender files and everything like that. And you can actually submit designs to the mini market or the wardrobe as I will be calling it. Moving on to our fifth and final feature Let's quickly create, let's just make a shirt really quick. So here we got our shirt. Go into edit mode. I'm just gonna delete the backside real quick. All right. So now we have a new button up top, create backside and flip normals. So what that does is it takes whatever you have created for the front side and it's going to make it to the back side. Whoa, look at that. And then you'll want to, of course, move it over as much as it needs to be. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to submit a help desk ticket. Thank you again, everybody. See you all in the next update.